Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. Savivi just dropped some new knives. They're hot off the presses. We're gonna check out two of them, and we're gonna do it quickly. Are you ready? This is the first one. This is the Savivi Sakoki. Oh, yeah. And look at that burlap micarta. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. You can, you can see the burlapiness. <laughs> <laughs> the burlapiness? Yeah, that, there you go. The burlapiness. Now, you know what? It looks like it has more texture than it does. It does have a good feel. It is grippy, but not super grippy. I'd give it about maybe somewhere around a four and a half on the grippiness scale. And then look at this. We have a deep carry reversible pocket clip. Flat screws, it's inset into the micarta, and look at this backspacer. Oh, yeah. I do like how the backspacer takes up, you know, a little over half of the space. And look at that. Look at that. Look how nice. Look how nice it is. I love the looks of this. Now, they have different versions of these available. There's like four different handles you can get and then three blade finishes. So this isn't your only option if you want to go check these out. And of course, Civivi T8 for your body screws. And then look at this side. Who's Who who makes this knife? Or I know who makes it. <laughs> who designed it? There we go. <laughs> There's your designer, Ray Laconico. I love his designs. They're, they're usually a little more slender. They fit my hand very well. And you have some jimping up top. You do have two options for opening it. And let's check out the blade while we're talking about it. Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Very clean. This is right in that everyday carry size category. And yes, 14C 28 inch blade steel, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Nice black stone wash. Very clean drop point, spear point blade. It's somewhere somewhere in between there, but look how clean. Very nice looking grind on it. And then let's see, what do we have for sharpening? Sharpening, you, you are good. Uh, the plunge grind, well, the plunge grind looks like it ends right there at the blade. So that may or may not be an issue. That depends on how much you sharpen your knives and how much that matters to you. And with Savivi, you always get a captive pivot. It's not always a D-shaped pivot. A lot of times it'll be a little notch right there, in, right in the face of the pivot. Overall, this bad boy is 7.64 inches. It has a blade length of 3.31 inches. Your blade stock thickness is 113 thousandths. And behind the edge, are you ready? Are you ready? 13 thousandths of an inch. Oh, yeah. Talk about some nice geometry. Look at that flat grind from all the way up top. Yeah, there's just a, the slightest. The slightest of swedge, slightest of fuzziness. <laughs> there you go. There's a little bit of that swedge for you, but it is a it is a relatively tall flat grind, and it comes in at weighs in at 3.48 ounces, so it's not a heavy knife at all. It does have a lanyard hole for all you lanyard lovers, and you know, look at this, look at this front flip. Yes, very easy. Let me back out. There we go. And the action is pretty good. It's not drop shutty but it is smooth. The thumb stubs work absolutely great. The reverse flick, spot on, right on the right on the money. And then look at this. The, oh, the index flip is so easy with this one. The jimping, it works. And you know the size of my hand. It fits my hand like a glove. Very, very comfortable. No hot spots at all. The pocket clip doesn't bother me at all. And then your lockup, lockup is good. And then how about centering? The centering, yeah, it's pretty good. We're right on. The overall feel and aesthetics of this knife, I, I know. This is going to be one of those ones. You you all know my favorite sizes. This is one of those ones that is going to go in the pocket. Now, as far as uh, the the detent, it, it is snappy. It It is so easy to front flip. The jimping is pretty good. Um... I would say it doesn't have the strongest detent in the world because, you know, there's something about front flippers where it's usually not a super strong detent. Um, it's not going to come flying out at all, but man, it is so snappy. Now, you notice there I just missed. I would say that I wouldn't mind if there was a little more roughness up here or maybe some smaller jimping going around the top because I did just slip off. Now, if you have your hand down here, you're not going to have a problem. So that might be one nitpick, but ooh, over the top is this is... That's, that's usually my preferred method with one of these is over the top. Or if I'm just sitting around fidgeting, I like to do this. Just flipping it with my index. That one is super comfortable with this one. So there is the Savivi Sakoki. I really like this one. This one's going to be very fun. We'll talk about it in the live streams. And of course, I'm going to have links in the description where you can go check out the different variations. All right. You're not going to believe this next one. Here we go. Okay. If you're ready, <laughs> here we go. This 
Wait, wait, it's, it's still coming. It's still coming. This, wait a minute, almost there. <laughs> this is the Savivi Maxwell. Oh my goodness. This is an absolute beast. And here's the rest of it. I had to go widescreen to fit this whole thing in. It's 9.4 ounces of beastly knifeness. Are you a fixie? Are you a fixie nerd? Well, this you're going to get your fix on this fix blade because, wow, I, I can't help but just stare at this blade. Oh, my goodness. And you know what? <laughs> the blade stock thickness on this sucker, it is not the skinniest. It's 198 thousandths of an inch, 5 millimeters. But check this out. It manages to get from 5 millimeters all the way down to 27 thousandths of an inch behind the edge, which to me, I think that is very impressive. You're going to, I mean, this, you're not going to have to worry about the, the fit, the, the action, anything like that. And I can tell you right now, it fits my hand so well. It is so comfortable. And here's the jipping. It has the kadonk, 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 kadonk. It has the bigger jimping, but... They managed to give it enough aggression. It's not bad aggressive. It's just right. It is just the right amount of, aggre uh, of aggression to hold my thumb in place and lock my thumb in place. This blade is just, uh, it's stunning. I'm just going to sit here and stare at it. But look at that. Stonewash is beautiful. And there are two versions of this one. The other one's an OD green, and it has it has a stone wash blade. And I'm, I'm probably flashing a picture up across the screen so you can look at that one. I don't believe that one's the black stone wash, but it could be. I can't remember everything, right? And these are running around the 130-ish, 135 mark. Like I said, I'll always put links in the description. That way, if I don't tell you a stat or a price or something like that, you can go check it out and look at look at all that fun stuff. Now, this does come with a very nice lanyard. If you like the lanyards, it has, I, I don't know what this one's called. I think it's like the box lanyard or something to that effect. It's easy. You can take it off, put it back on if you want. And here's the Kydex sheath. Very nice fitting. It's very clippy. <laughs> it's a Kydex sheath. There you go. It's a Terzola design, and you can move this around to whatever configuration, whatever angle you want. And besides that, just something that I don't always mention or probably don't, but you can adjust this to however thick your belt is or whatever strap you attach this to. By the, There's a screw right there, and you can adjust this bar down to the thickness of whatever belt or whatever you're strapping it to. Now, something I don't know a lot about fixed blades, but one thing I can tell you is that I do appreciate when they snap in and they have good retention this has good retention and i do like this it has a very nice very nice ramp going on right here I'm trying to get that in the picture the ramp works perfect for my thumb comes snapping off and it holds in so i would imagine uh, this is one you could definitely backpack or hike and have this one hanging upside down and this isn't one that's going to fall out of the sheath it has a definite definitive click into there. So that is that is a very nice looking fixed blade setup. I know a lot of you fixies are always saying, hey, when are you gonna show some more fixed blades? Well, how is the, how does that tickle your fancy for a fixed blade? Super comfortable. I mean, I don't have any complaints about the finish. Obviously, I don't have to worry about the fit. Everything is as solid as a rock. It has good texture. Here's a little bit of, a little bit of texture vision for you. Really nice looking G10. I love it. I mean, this thing is going to be fun to show my friends. And you know, uh, when we go camping, I'm definitely going to do some chonking with this thing. So there's the Savivi Maxwell. And then here is the, <laughs> here's the Savivi Sakoki. So it's sidekick. One for the pocket, one for the backpack, or one for your belt. I hope you enjoy checking these out with me. Go check out this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I talk to you again in the chats or in the live streams or every Friday night at the Hive stream, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.